Closed captioning provided by the UT Haslam College full-time MBA program. Learn, transform, lead. It all starts here. This is it. A passion that knows no equal. Oh, Tennessee. Tennessee win! For the next 60 minutes, you're tuned to Vol Network coverage of the Tennessee Volunteers. You've got to be a team that's extremely disciplined, loves each other, and plays hard. From the heart and soul of the Volunteer State, this is Tennessee. Who's taking control? This is the Butch Jones Show. Brought to you by the Vols Throwback Debit Card. Only available from the official Bank of the Vols, First Tennessee. By Dish, tuned in to Vol fans since 2008. By your local Ford dealer. For great offers on Ford F-150, see your local Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. With agents in more communities than any other insurer, Tennessee turns to Farm Bureau Insurance, the official insurance of the Vols. Tennessee Volunteers got their third win of the season, beating UMass on Saturday at Neyland Stadium 17-13. Coach, this was a dogfight all day, though, against the Minutemen. It was. I uh, was very, very pleased and, and very uh, excited about our defense and the way we stepped up. We had seven sacks. We forced ten punts and uh, really took the game over in the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter, which we talk about. And I thought the line of scrimmage really, really started to change. We needed to be 3-1. and one. We're 3-1, and one, but this performance is not up to our standards and our expectations. And every man to a man knew that leaving Neyland Stadium in the locker room. And we all knew that. And we have to go back to work. We have to continue to get better. Uh, but again, not up to our standards and expectations. It was great to see Brandon Johnson step up for us in the first half, Bob. We we had over 260 yards a total offense. We just weren't able to score points. We were able to score 14 two consecutive times at the end of the first half. And then the second half, we could not get any momentum going at all. What were the problems in the second half? UMass played awfully well defensively. That's given them credit. But what were the problems from Tennessee's aspect offensively? Well, I think it gets back to the word team. We'd have nine, ten individuals doing the right things, and one individual wouldn't do their job, and all of a sudden there's a negative yardage football play. We knew that they were going to challenge us. They were going to be able to move the front, play man coverage. You still have to be able to block movement. You still have to be able to run the football. And then, obviously, you have to throw the ball to beat man coverage. And and some things we need to correct defensively as well. But I thought our special teams helped. Trevor Daniel was outstanding again with the ability to flip field position for us. But our players knew that was not up to our standard or our expectations and just unacceptable. Offensively in the second half, what were the problems? Why did you have such a tough time moving the ball against them? I think we weren't able to block the movement. And uh, again, you can't have negative yardage football plays. Way too many times in the second half, we were third and long. And now you're playing the law of averages in terms of the ability to convert. And it all starts on first down and first down efficiency. As it turns out, the game-winning play in the contest was a touchdown pass from Quentin Dormady to Tyler Burr. That's our big play of the game. Dormady with three wide outs to the left. Dormady looks that way, sets up, fires back, quarter of the end zone, man there, touchdown! Touchdown to Tyler Bird. Good set it up now with Bird. Well, again, this was a third down conversion, and this was great. We knew that we were going to have one-on-one -on -one coverage, man coverage in the formation we're in. He had an advantage because the individual playing man coverage on him was inside technique. He does a good job, and then you want to run to the back pylon. He did a great job of finishing the catch, dot in the eye with his feet, which we talk about, but also Quentin put the ball right where it needed to be. Hard to believe that's his first touchdown catch at Tennessee. It is, uh, but again, I know it's been a long time coming. We were able to involve him a little bit in the, in the offense in terms of a reverse and then that play, and obviously that was a big play going into halftime. How much can Tyler Bird help this offense going forward? He can help, and hopefully he'll build off that momentum that he gained in this game. And the big thing with Tyler, and he knows, is just consistent day in and day out, uh, but he's very prideful. He takes great pride in his work, and I know he's very hungry. Tyler Burry gets the big touchdown catch for Tennessee as the Volunteers go on to beat UMass 17-13. We'll show you all the highlights next here on the Butch Jones Show.
Time out to check the stats. Brought to you by Dish. This past Saturday, Tennessee running back John Kelly became the most explosive running back in two decades. Check the stats, including his impressive 141 yard performance against Florida. Kelly has pounded and sprinted and dominated for an SEC best 349 yards and the highest mark in nearly 20 years. During the 2000 season, Travis Henry totaled 355 yards after the first three games, while in the 2001 season, Travis Stevens churned up 412 yards on the ground on his way to set the program's single season rushing record with 1,464 yards. Check the stats. Own Ditch. Own Saturday. Own UT football. Dish has the most college football and the best ways to enjoy it. Find out how you can own Saturday at dish.com slash balls. Dish, tuned in to Vol fans since 2008. Excellence is a journey that you choose to take. It's a choice to be the academic medical center in the region. It's a focus on not asking what's next, but discovering it. Excellence is having physicians on the cutting edge of medicine training future generations of physicians. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. Whether it's in banking or whether it's in football, it's being able to relate to your customers, relate to recruits. At First Tennessee, we have Big Orange Banking, the Power T debit card, and now the Throwback debit card. The Throwback debit card is very unique. Not only does it embrace the past, but it also embraces the present. It all starts with the rifleman, but also coupled with the smoky gray and the orange of Tennessee. Get your throwback debit card at First Tennessee, the official bank of the Vols. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers. So we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Ford F-150, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. See your local Ford dealer for great offers today. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, ours starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Timestamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say, start fresh with Food City. Ron and I really love our home here. I think because of the community. The least we can do is go out and support them, and that's why we give back. We get a lot of different companies involved, and CPI security being one of them. We know firsthand you can count on CPI when you need them the most. It's just so easy being able to remotely arm things in case you forget as you walk out the door. That's why we'll always have CPI. Get a complete system free, including a doorbell camera and door lock. Call CPI today. Make CPI yours. Tennessee at the UMass 12. Goes to the tailback. Kelly breaks the tackle. Goes left to the five for the checkerboard. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee improves to three and one on the season with the win over UMass Saturday at Neyland Stadium. Big crowd on hand. Hot, hot football day. And I think that was 
Will you get back to all the you talk about the nutrition and keeping all the guys fueled up? That was a big factor in the game. It was a big factor, and we didn't have very many players go down with cramps. So that shows that our nutritional staff and, and sports science staff really done a good job of making sure our players were hydrated. And I can't thank the fans enough. They really became a factor in that football game, particularly in the fourth quarter with all the key third down stops that we needed. And they really, I thought, also as much as our defensive front was disruptive, I I thought our fans did a great job, particularly on third down or really getting involved in the game. Had some changes in the offensive line. Coleman Thomas got the start at center. You were juggling guys all day long, weren't you? We that were. Day? We were banged up most of the day. And again, you know, that doesn't change the expectations. No matter who's in, the expectations stay exactly the same. And uh, we had some individuals get some valuable repetitions that we can teach off of. But again, it doesn't matter who's playing, whether it's offense, defense, or even in special teams, to stand to the expectations that we have set are in place. John Kelly had another day. I mean, he ran hard all day long, didn't he? He did. What can I say about him? Continues to lead, continues to play with passion and energy. And, uh, you know, he had some great words after the game for our entire team. And uh, we're feeding off of him. And then yards after first initial contact again was outstanding. He's got a fire in his belly, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And that's what we talk about. The game is meant to be played with passion and energy. And that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, that's a long time since I can remember a Tennessee football team we need to get more back to passion and energy that we need because we know this stretch now we're entering with SEC conference play we're going to need all the energy we're going to need all the passion and that's what football is all about you got to love what you're doing and you got to bring passion every single day let's go to some of the highlights from Neyland Stadium on Saturday afternoon Brandon Johnson had a big big first half for you coach well he did and this is going to be a second down and 11 pass so you know we're behind the sticks right here it's just an inside breaking route and he does a great job of catching the football and then also advancing it for us right here. And uh, again, can't say enough about this young man. Nice to have Josh Smith back too. It is. This is a five yard gain on first and 10. And again, when even a five yard gain, that's an efficient play on first and 10. Now you're ahead of the sticks at second and five. He does a great job of securing the catch. And again, good, efficient first down play. So shorthanded at wide receiver to get him back is going to help your rotation. Well, his, from an experience standpoint and also from a leadership standpoint as well. Here's Johnson again. Was, was their defense set to take Callaway away and, and open up some things? Well, yeah, exactly right. And then right here is John Kelly does a great job of bouncing the play on the sideline. And again, extra yards after contact. And again, just again, just the, the passion, the drive. He does a great job with his overall vision. There's a slant to Johnson again. Again, uh, you know, he's just been very, very consistent. Take away the minus drop, and I thought that uh, he played very well for us. Six catches in the first half for over 100 yards. That was big, and I, again, he made some key plays and turned some plays into big momentum plays for us as well. This is Khalil McKenzie getting a sack here for a four-yard loss on first and 10, and just like what we're talking about on offense, now all of a sudden they're behind the sticks, and that changes a little bit, and that was great to get Khalil involved with the quarterback sack. When you get in the backfield, it changes things for an offense, doesn't it? Absolutely. Very, very disruptive force, and here's third and 12, and uh, Kyle Phillips does a great job right here. Again, with a negative yardage football play on third down. You kept uh, getting the ball to John Kelly. Well, this will be a 14 yard rush again, and you can see kind of the storyline. Here's first and 10, and uh, we move the chains, and again, staying ahead of the chains. And you know, most prolific offenses, most of their first downs are generated on first and second down. And then we spoke about Tyler Bird earlier in the show, and here's Tyler getting involved in the offense on a reverse for a 15 yard gain again Bob on first and 10. Nice to have a guy that's versatile like Bird, right? Well it is and he can do so many things and we have to continue to manufacture and get ways to, to get the football in his hands. Got to play a lot of different guys up front. Alexis Johnson got in there and got a push. Well, this is big to see. And again, when we talk about situational football, this is third and six at the 43 yard line. So you look what it does in terms of field position. It changes everything. And that's one area that you've talked about. You've got to get a better push out of that defensive No foot. question. You know, and, and when you have a push with the interior 
defensive front, it's going to lend to our defensive ends getting more sacks. And I thought one of the critical plays of the game right here, it's third down and eight at our own 22. Good pass protection, and there's a dig route. Quinn does a good job of setting his feet, and then obviously Brandon does a great job of catching, advancing. like to see him score here, uh, but again, a big momentum play for us on third and eight. One thing about it, though, he caught it right in stride. Didn't have to slow down at all, and Dormady right on target to Johnson. Well, he did. If you see, we had a nice clean pocket. Quinton was able to stand firm in the pocket and deliver a strike and then turn him into a ball carrier with the ball location. Now this game is still scoreless. This is now late in the second quarter and Tennessee finally gets on the board. Well, 12 yard rush from John Kelly and does a great job of bouncing the inside zone play. And again, makes a first defender miss and then gets the ball into the checkerboards. He has got that vision, doesn't he, to pop it outside when he has to. He does. He has great vision and great instincts. And you can see it again right here. We're running the, the pull play and uh, again, zone with a, with a power lead play does a great job of getting the ball and bouncing it. You talk about patience as a runner, and Kelly has that, done not Well, he does. He knows how to tempo his runs, and a lot of times with the growth and maturation of a back, they don't understand why you need to tempo it. And he does a great job of understanding the different tempos with the runs. And then this is the, the DAT play of the game that we just spoke about. Again, this is third and five at our at our uh, eight yard line. And again, they're in man coverage. Again, Quinton has a clean pocket and does a great job of throwing the ball right to the spot that we talk about. That reception area is the back pylon right there by the end zone. Does a great job of executing it. Got a good matchup because the linebacker started on him and gave up and the cornerback had gone to double team. Yeah, we thought we had a four advantage here and we were able to match Tyler up on him and we feel Tyler can win those matchups. But again, we talked about Callaway didn't throw at him very often. Johnson was the hot receiver most of the he time. He was and here's another third and seven uh, play for nine yards, just a shallow cross. Again, offensive line does a good job of providing the protection and then Brandon does a great job of catching the ball and advancing it for a first down. It's 14 to six Tennessee and their quarterback Andrew Ford veteran guy and made a lot of things happen for him. Well, this is again, hit. we needed this. This is a big hit and it was third down and 12 at our own nine and our defense does a great job of running to the football. We bring a little bit of pressure, drop out a defensive end with some zone blitz concepts and uh, we do a great job. It's Elliot Barry and he's chased by McKenzie and then Barry comes in and finishes him off. That knocked him out of the game. That changed the whole complexion of the game. Well, exactly right. And then anytime you can make an offense one dimensional, we still, we still manage to, to make them one dimensional. Elliott does a great job of getting off the block. And you can see right here, they're trying to run a, a basically a naked. We blitz off the edge with our nickel. We contain the quarterback. And then Elliott does a great job of tackling and wrapping up. 17 13 now. Tennessee has the lead. And Again, you're trying to uh, score here late and you give the ball to Kelly again. Well, again, behind the sticks, second 12, draw a play. And again, John does a great job. It gets the ball out to the 31 yard line. It really changes the whole field position game. 25 carries, that's a career high for Kelly, 101 yards. Then Jonathan Combo, you can see, wins it at the line of scrimmage with his get off, runs the hoop, uh, reduces his surface. Again, big time sack for us. It was second eight at that time that it happened. You can see his get off does a great job of reducing his surface and uh, finishes with a quarterback sack. When Ford went out of the game and they brought in Comus, did that change your defensive philosophy at all? Well, it changes a little bit because he's more of a zone read type quarterback. And we knew we had to maintain the pocket with him. He's very active, very athletic, but we knew we'd get a little more quarterback run and we had to make sure we contained him in the pocket. And the one thing that also came down to your defense while you, the offense was struggling a little bit in the second half, defense had to keep them out of the end zone. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we gave up some big plays, but we, we we bent, but we never broke. And that's the great thing about it. And then obviously at the end of the game, we needed those stops and we were able to get that. And indeed, Tennessee did. And Tennessee gets the win over UMass 17-13. We'll take you to the locker room next here on the Butch Jones Show. It's time to honor the Tennessee Vol Scholar of the Week, brought to you by the University of Tennessee College of Pharmacy serving the entire volunteer state with campuses in Knoxville, Nashville, and Memphis. Throw along down this near sideline, the pass is going to be battled away at the last instant, Micah Abernathy. This week, we recognize Micah Abernathy, 
Micah's major is finance. He is a member of the Vol Leaders Academy, making him our Vol Scholar of the Week. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are, no matter what your name is. Touching hands, reaching, reaching out, touching me, touching you. Make your commute a little sweeter in the newly redesigned Hyundai Sonata, our best Sonata ever. Posting hashtag yeehaw. Hashtag I have no signal and I still can't post out here. Whoa, look out, coming through. Hey, Thomas. Howdy there, Joy. See, Joy's got the new iPhone with Verizon Unlimited. You bet I do. Best phone, best network. America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. She can post out here like she does in the city. Hey, 12 likes. What? Likes won't get you diddly around these parts. Yeah! No, you're going the wrong way. When you really, Ooh. really want the best, switch to Verizon Unlimited and get up to $300 off the new iPhone. From hard work, humble beginnings, and the red clay of Tennessee, greatness is built brick by brick. This is Coach Philip Fulmer. General Shell and I are proud supporters of Tennessee football. The Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by UT Medical Center, the official health care provider of the Vols. UT Medical Center, the region's academic medical center. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. By Verizon, the best network with the best unlimited. Verizon, official wireless provider of the Tennessee Volunteers. And by Food City, the tailgating capital of Big Orange Country and proud sponsor of UT Athletics. Food City, value every day. Tennessee gets the win over UMass on Saturday at Neyland Stadium. Coach, let's go inside the numbers a little bit. When you look at total offense, did have 71 plays and 319 yards, just not enough points. Well, it, exactly right, but 260 of those yards were in the first half and we never were able to gain a rhythm in the second half. I thought we were very, very sloppy. I thought we pressed a little bit, didn't play with the tempo that we need to play with on defense and way too many negative yardage football plays. The offense in the first half, though, it seemed like with the juggling, the offensive line, you just never got any consistency going. Well, again, continuity and 11 individuals working as one, and it's not just up front. It's all 11 across the board, and it's working together as one. And, uh, you know, you were exactly right. We moved the ball the first half. We just didn't come away with points, and we had a missed field goal as well but the second half that was the disturbing thing is we were never able to get into a rhythm and again when you have negative yardage football plays and you're forced to convert third and long you're not going to have much success let's uh, talk about individuals John Kelly 25 carries 101 yards Quentin Dormady was 17 to 27 for 187. He also played Jarrett Garantano in the game. Talk about your quarterback play. Well, again, we went to Jarrett because we thought we needed a spark. We needed to change some things up. We needed some energy. And then circled back to Quentin at the end of the game. And again, those reps are valuable. But again, it comes down to just the small details. We keep saying that. Uh, but when that way was, was uh, created with details, accountability, and toughness, that was what this football team needs, and we continue to need that. And we're going to have to have a great week of preparation and moving forward. Take inside the numbers defensively. They only had 59 plays in the game and uh, had 281 yards. Uh, and also you forced them into 10 punts in the game. Well, we did, and uh, that was great to see. We were able to get off the field on third down, and same thing, which was our problem on offense, first down efficiency. We did a very good job on first down defense efficiency and really creating a lot of third and long situations. 
Uh, when you look at them, uh, Andrew Ford, he was a He'd been passing 300 yards a game. You hold him to 129 yards individually, their quarterback. Well, we knew that they would be a talented offense, and they do a great job with their quick passing game with all their bunch formations and shallow crosses and all the things, and very, very talented quarterback. And I thought, for the most part, our secondary and our front seven really did a good job of containing him. And the one guy, of course, that just keeps doing it every week is Trevor Daniel. He flipped the field a bunch of times in this game. Punted too many times, I'm sure, yeah. from your standpoint, he, but he flipped the field. He was out on the field way too many times but he is a weapon for us and he has the ability to flip the field in a number of 50 yard punts some of them that went through the end zone but everything in punting is about net punting so a very very productive day for him and he helped us win the football game had a long of 56 he had eight punts for 48.9 yard average that's amazing very impressive it really is let's go inside the locker room now with Tennessee's players and Matty Glapp Maddie Glab here. This is the post game. I'm with Colton Jumper. Colton, you had two and a half sacks today. How were you able to pressure the quarterback? Because she tied up some really good blitzes, and they were just hitting home. It's something that we knew we could take advantage of with their offensive line. So it, it was some good time blitzes. Um, you know, a couple of them just kind of fell on my lap where it didn't get blocked. Our blitzes were hitting home really well today. Oh, sets up, being pressured. He's going to be sacked. Seven sacks from the defense as a whole. How do you think you guys are coming together as a unit this season? I think we're actually starting to pick it up. You know, we kind of know how each other play. We know how to talk to each other out there. So I think from here we can only improve and get better. They got pressure off the edge that time, and it's going to be Jonathan Kongbo. Offensive line-wise, how do you think you guys are blending as a unit? I know there's a lot of people coming in, coming out with injuries and things like that. You know, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Obviously, we had Jay Sean out today, and um, having one of our senior leaders out is, is never good. And um, you know, he's obviously huge for us inside. But you know, I think Marcus Tatum and Jack Jones did a great job of coming off the bench and, and um, just giving us some extra energy. And but I think we're doing a great job overall. Tennessee at the UMass 12. Handoff goes to the tailback. Kelly breaks a tackle. Goes left to the five to the checkerboard. Touchdown, Tennessee. What's going to happen in practice this week to get ready for Georgia come Saturday? Well, first off, I think we got to get our health back. So it means getting Jay Sean back, hopefully getting Jakob and uh, Ethan back after this. Um, so, you know, we got to get our health back and, you know, we got to have a lot of passion coming out and, um, you know, just really focus in on the small details and get ready for this other SEC opponent coming in. To the 15, to the 10, he's out of bounds. Georgia coming up next week, so what do you guys have to do to get ready for another big SEC team coming in here? A lot. We got, we got a lot to get ready. Um, they're, they're good this year. Uh, you know, you're going to get the usual with them, you know, power game, run game. Um, they'll have a quarterback that can throw it. So, I mean, we got, we got a lot to get ready for with them. After the penalty, third down and long. Handoff, tailback, going nowhere. What do you guys have to do to prepare? Does the energy need to go up? What needs to happen in here on Saturday? Uh, we just, I feel like we got to have more passion, more energy. And it really starts on Monday with practice and even tomorrow, you know, watching film, getting ready for it. But I feel like we just got to bring passion and get Neilan going. You're never too young to be a VFL. Sign up for the Junior Vols Club. For more information or to sign up for Junior Vols, visit utsports.com. Presented by the Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic. Proudly serving the University of Tennessee Athletic Department since 1949. One Tennessee. One sustainable goal. Zero waste in Neyland Stadium. No sort recycling. Now, zero excuses. Made possible by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. No sort makes it easy to be a good sport. Tackle sustainability. At Tennessee, good sports always recycle. Tennessee Volunteers are massing in the North Tunnel. There's emotion and passion. You can tell it. The tee opens, and now the emotion and passion of the fans comes to the forefront as the Tennessee Volunteers come running through the team. Farm Bureau Insurance is proud to be the official insurance of the Vols. And it's football time in Tennessee. What's going on? My TV company won't let me watch all my channels live on this, so I'm following the game this way. 
supposed to be the football. It doesn't even look like a football. I know. It's a tiny field. I hate tiny fields. Try this. That's the game. That's Dish. <laughs> Didn't even know my voice could do that. Dish lets you watch 100% of your live channels and sports anywhere on your favorite devices. Dish, tuned into you. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers, so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Ford F-150, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. See your local Ford dealer for great offers today. You are the man of the hour, the king of the castle. Your subjects look upon you in awe and anticipation because you're about to make their culinary dreams come true. Guess you should have had natural gas. Tennessee fans, gear up for Team 121 with the official 2017 Tennessee Football Fan Shirt. On sale now at Vol Shops on campus. Down the field shirts are also available at participating fan shops across the state. Let's go down the field with Team 121, presented by Dish. You asked, he'll answer. This is Ask the Coach. Presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get your officially licensed Tennessee gear at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Coach, your question this week comes from Wilson Matthews, and he said the defense had seven sacks against UMass, which is the most, by the way, since 2008 for a Tennessee defense. Were you encouraged by the defensive line play? Very, very encouraged, but not just the defensive front, but really the front seven. You know, I thought we did a great job of continuously applying pressure to the quarterback. We were able to maintain the pocket with the quarterback and not let him escape the pocket. And I think that's a byproduct of all those sacks. Colton Jumper had two and a half sacks from the linebacker position as well. Sometimes you're moving Jonathan Kongbo and Kyle Phillips inside for that speed rush. Is that helping a lot? Exactly right. And we've been able to do that and it helps immensely, especially when it's third and long. Now you're going to get some one on one matchups and you can't double team everyone across the board. So now they have to make their pick as an offense of which defensive lineman they're going to work the double on and which they're going to single up. Up. And, uh, you know, one of the combo sacks off the edge, he was one on one with the tackle. Daryl Taylor also is coming on, coming on, but still you just need consistency and, and pressure from him every game. No question. I think Taylor's going to be an individual who does nothing but get better week in and week out with the volume of repetitions that he's receiving. Linebackers, you're all beat up there, and now going into the Georgia game, linebackers are going to be so critical because you got to stop the Georgia rush. Well, you have to stop their rush, and you also have to stop the play action pass mm -hmm. game off of that. So your eye discipline and really reading your keys are going to be critical, and we'll work exceptionally hard on that this week. Georgia is a team that loves to run the football, so you know what you're going to get Saturday. No question. They have very two talent, two very, very talented NFL type running backs, but they can run out on the perimeter. Uh, whoever the quarterback is has really done a great job of managing managing and running their offense. So it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for us. And then they have some very active tight ends as well. You know, the UMass game was a struggle. You got the win sometimes in the middle of the conference season. These non-conference games are really kind of tough, aren't they? Well, they are. But again, the standard, the expectations don't change. And a win is a win and never going to apologize for a victory. Uh, we're three and one. We needed to be three and one after the loss of Florida. We're there, but you can't. You can't go and sweep anything under the rug, so to speak. Everything has to be magnified. Everything has to be cleaned up. They got to know why and what we're going to do. How are we going to correct this? And the expectations will continue to demand on. And that starts with myself, and that starts with us as a coaching staff. Coach, congratulations on the win over UMass. We'll see you next Saturday against Georgia. Thanks, Bob. Coach Butch Jones has comments, and we'll feature Jakob Johnson, Tennessee tight end, next here on the Butch Jones Show. The Vols rushed for 121 yards or more this week. Download the Dunkin' Donuts app and get a free medium hot or iced coffee today. Vol fans run on Dunkin'. 
Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Throwbacks are really revisiting history, really revisiting time and going back and you think of traditions. It's throwback time in Tennessee. The throwback debit card really exemplifies excellence. It goes back into the past traditions of Tennessee and the University of Tennessee football program. Not only does it embrace the past, but it also embraces the present with the Smoky Gray and the Rifleman. There's only one place to find the throwback debit card. First Tennessee, the official bank of the Vols. At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of course. <laughs> have questions? Visit FBHealthPlans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. There's people who care where I'm going And good friends who welcome me home So get a full tank of freedom Drive the American road And with a full tank of freedom Find your own highway We'll take you wherever you go Take you wherever you go The Vol Network now turns the spotlight on Team 121, brought to you by Hyundai, proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. If you ask Team 121 about Jakob Johnson, they will say the tight end is just different. He's always got a book in his hand and they're, they're not just your average like history book. Some of the food choices here, man, is like, man, I, I don't always want fries with my food. He had that accent and I was like, yeah, something's different about this guy. He's just different in a positive way. Jakob Johnson was raised in Germany, although like many on the team, he grew up with football dreams. Everybody in Germany dreams of playing over here in the States. He wanted to make that fantasy a reality, which meant moving to the States to play high school football for one season. Once I got started uh, down in Florida and, and started playing, I realized that, man, I really got a shot at this. And uh, then when, when Tennessee called, man, I, I was like, wow. This is it. <laughs> I'm really about to play college football. Let's go! Da, 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 da. With his main support system back in Germany, Jakob had to learn ways to keep his family close. A, a big thing for me is I, I cook like traditional German food or stuff that my mom used to make and that kind of kind of keeps me grounded. Through a little research, Jakob realized he had family closer than he thought. Through Facebook, uh, he, they found found my uh, my, my granddad's uh, kind of relatives that are here in Knoxville. They were blown away, of course, too, because I mean they're they're big Tennessee fans, you know. And all of a sudden, this this long lost cousin pops up, and he's on the football team, and, and and he but he's from Germany at the same time. And it just made me think, like, how crazy is it that you know out, out of this this whole journey, I end up here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and then I have family ties here in Knoxville. Even with extended family close by, his teammates understand the sacrifices he had to make to get to Tennessee. I know it was a hard journey, you know, and I'm just glad that he was very blessed with this opportunity. Like I said, he's like my best friend. I'm glad I got a chance to be able to play with him. You know, he's a great player and a great friend and a great teammate. For him to come over here and, and, and you know, give this thing a shot, it's, it takes guts and it takes, you know, just confidence and uh, definitely respect, you know, the utmost respect for Jakob, you know, no matter how his career turns out. And after his senior season, all he wants to do is keep playing the sport that made him move so far from home. I just want to play ball, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it, it's been so crazy to get here to this point, you know, and, and man, I, I don't care where I end up, if, uh, if I get some more years of football under my belt, as long as I can stay healthy, I'll keep playing. If you ask Jakob Johnson about himself, he'll say the young German kid with football dreams now sees life in a different light. I'd say there's just maybe uh, 
just kind of not take everything so serious and just enjoy the time that you get. I mean, we all only get a limited amount of time, so try to make the best out of it and try to make the most out of it. Whatever that means to you, figuring out what that means to you is probably the first step, and then just going after it. For the Butch Jones Show, I'm Maddie Crabb. Fans, please direct your attention to the video board for tonight's loyal fan of the game. Brought to you by Hyundai. Fall fans are loyal. Hyundai fans are loyal too. Enough to be ranked number one in customer loyalty six years in a row. Before you try a sumo showdown, try Kino to go instead. Simply visit any Tennessee Lottery retailer, choose how many numbers to play, pick your lucky numbers, select your play amount, and decide how many drawings to enter. Then watch drawings on your phone, tablet, or computer to see if you're a winner. Kino to go from the Tennessee Lottery. I'm the neighbor with the orange tractor. I mow, I grow and care for this place I call home. I'm always on the move, getting work done, because I want to be the best version of me. Right now, get a Kubota L-Series tractor and take advantage of low-rate, long-term financing. This is why I do it. Kubota. Kubota is a proud corporate sponsor of Tennessee football. Visit us at TennesseeKubotaDealers.com. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, our starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Timestamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say start fresh with Food City. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are. No matter what your name is. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers, so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Ford F-150, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. See your local Ford dealer for great offers today. Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. By Eastman Chemical Company, promoting sustainability. Remember, good sports always recycle. And by Farm Bureau Health Plans. When the best offense is a good defense, protect your savings from the high cost of medical services with quality coverage from Farm Bureau Health Plans. This is Exact Science, brought to you by Humana, your partner in health. One of the most common injuries we see in contact sports, particularly sports like football, soccer, lacrosse, is sport concussion. A concussion is something that can occur from either a direct blow to the head or body. It's when there's a neurological pattern change in the brain that often can be detected through a good clinical exam by a team physician. And any symptoms related to a concussion, report those to a certified athletic trainer immediately. Once a student athlete's diagnosed with a concussion by a team physician, that physician will be in charge of following their progress through the athletic trainer and a daily check. The return to play should be a stepwise progression based on your symptoms and based on your clinical examination and the team physician has a final say and return to play on each of those injuries. When I first got into coaching, it was the 
The size was the most important thing. You got to take big linebackers and speed uh, wasn't the biggest asset that you were looking for. You just need to be big and strong and stout and know how to fit in isolation or a counter. Uh, and the call you only had, you know, a base call, maybe one or two nickel calls and probably a goal line call. Uh, in the day's game, there was so much nickel in the tempo offenses that people are starting looking for kids that can, or sleep bodies that can run and play in space. Uh, and then also, not only that, with so many different calls and so many different techniques, you got to have a linebacker that's pretty smart. So Creed in our room is you got to be tough and smart, tough and smart. And then and not only all of that part of it, you also have that ability to play in space because it's going to be a mismatch on the football field. You take number two and you walk him out, there's going to be some instances sometime where an outside linebacker or a Mike linebacker is going to have to match up on a wide receiver. If you look at today's game, nobody just lines up and just run inside zone and pyro. You have, you'll have three plays in one play, so you may have a jet sweep coming one way, and then you may have a counter, a quarterback counter going the other way. So it's what your eyes are doing and what your bodies are doing. So when you're saying when you call one call, yes, in one call, that, guy, that linebacker may have to take the jet. In the next call, that same, in that same motion in a different call, he may have to stay on the quarterback counter. And so we start mixing it up with eight, nine, ten different calls, and that one little motion where a guy goes on jet motion, we may have to play that technique multiple different ways. So you can see now it's just not see ball, hit ball, or what it used to be. Inside zone is a simple game. Inside zone, you know, pyro, those are simple games, simple fits. You spend a lot of time in, in, in teaching now, and the guys that can actually understand and comprehend, um, you know, the techniques that we all do, we use in every coverage, and then actually saying, okay, in this call, these are your rules, follow these rules. We're trying to make a lot of things that are rule-based on with all the different dynamics that we've seen in offenses, but it's a challenge, and it's not a simple game like it used to be. Being a smart football player is just as important as a guy that runs a 4-5, because the more he can absorb, the more calls that we can add to stop certain plays. In the offenses today, they, you know, they want you to be in one defense, maybe two defenses, and then they're going to call the best plays and exploit those defenses. So you got to be able to run multiple defenses and people be like, well, keep it simple, keep it simple. And keeping it simple in today's game, we'll have an offense with an average 45 points a game. Those linebackers uh, in today's game, they have to have that ability to think and think on the run. And then not only that, put in fatigue, uh, and then um, you know, multiple calls. It, it, you know, for young guys, it's kind of overwhelming. You can never underestimate experience. And, and I always tell kids, just look at basketball. If you watch basketball in Kentucky, there'll be a year where they may have three guys out there, you know, but that team didn't win the, the NCAA basketball. It's that team that stuck together with five guys that you didn't even know their names, but they all played together and that experience came. Football is the same way. You can never underestimate the experience, especially game experience in front of Needle and a kid that's played in front of 102,000. And that experience is for us is essential for us to be successful as a defense. No matter the day, it's always football time in Tennessee. Join the Vol Network each Wednesday at Calhoun's on the River for Vol Calls. Talk Tennessee football with head coach Butch Jones. Vol Calls, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. on the Vol Network. Excellence is finding ways to solve new challenges. It's one of the reasons we created our six centers of excellence. Physicians from different disciplines working together to provide better solutions for you. It's a collaborative effort that pushes us to be our best and to provide you with the best care possible. Excellence is a journey that we take every day. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. Why are the clothes always so damp? Why do they take so long to dry? Because we have an electric dryer. Dad, why is this house so cold? It's electric heat. Just bundle up and go ask your mother. Mom, why is the Go ask your father. Why did this take so long? Why is it dry? Why does it burn? Maybe we should finally switch to natural gas. Finally! Why haven't you switched to natural gas? Touching hands. Reaching Reach out. Touching me. Touching you.
Make your commute a little sweeter in the newly redesigned Hyundai Sonata, our best Sonata ever. Ron and I really love our home here. I think because of the community. The least we can do is go out and support them, and that's why we give back. We get a lot of different companies involved, and CPI security being one of them. We know firsthand you can count on CPI when you need them the most. It's just so easy being able to remotely arm things in case you forget as you walk out the door. That's why we'll always have CPI. Get a complete system free, including a doorbell camera and door lock. Call CPI today. Make CPI yours. Welcome to the Film Room with VFL Eric Ainge, presented by Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. Welcome back into the Film Room. I'm VFL Eric Ainge. Today we're going to highlight a redshirt junior from the Volunteer State, Rashawn Galden. Great hustle, good angle, way to strip the football. Rashawn's playing corner up here. Against Georgia Tech, Rashawn played corner because of the triple option and scheme. He's too good of a football player to not have on the field. So you can see it up here. He's playing corner, number two's up there. Down, set, hut, ball snapped. Watch him in phase, staying back, seeing the play, sees its run and doesn't commit until he knows where the running back's going. He still has contain, really good job by him going and getting the football, and you can see it when we let it go to the other angle right here, just how good it is. A lot of guys will strip, you know, they'll go for the ball or they'll try, you know, try to change, rip it out, but they don't ensure the tackle too. Watch Rashawn right here, laser focused, oh, high and tight, 28, high and tight, right there across the ball, and with his off arm ensures the tackle. That's a textbook football play by Rashawn Golden. Really good job by Rashawn on this play, getting his hands on the football and making sure he came down with it. Tennessee football. All right, so here we go. Four down front, two linebackers. We're in nickel, we're in sub. Right here, we have quarter, quarter, half. Right here. Quarter, quarter, half. He's the flat defender. He's rolled up right here. He's a tough corner. Get a good jam on the receiver. Curl flat is Rashawn's responsibility up here to the quarter side, to the field to the passing strength side. So watch as the ball snap, down set, hut. They got a tight end, a running back, 11 personnel. He's getting his width, trying to bait the quarterback a little bit. He's gonna go right here with the football. It's a good play. He's got the hardest job probably on that play, Rashawn does. He has the curl and the flat, and it's a lot of field when, you're, when the ball's on the boundary. Really good job by him getting his hands on the football and understanding coverage. Great play by Rashawn. Again, right here, up at the top of the field, you'll see Mosley and Galden. They both are playing man-to-man. -man. When you have two receivers that are stacked up, right, either right on top of each other or they motion to a stack, you'll see these guys. One will bump off, the other one will go press. They'll both bump off. We could have Galden in here, Mosley out there, and you go first in, first out, and that's who you go with. They combo the running back a lot in man-to-man. -man. So if he goes that way, he's got him. He goes that way, he's got him. But again, Rashawn Galden right up here at the top, he's got him man-to-man. -man. Mosley's got him man-to-man. -man. That way they don't rub each other and they don't get that little uh, on the crossing route. Sometimes you see those guys hit each other. Right here, Galden, down set, hut, squatting, playing good coverage, and then pause it right. See. Here's the ball, it's a little high, you know, it's not a great throw, but he's in phase, he's always in phase. He knows exactly where to be. He's gonna ensure the tackle. 
He goes late hands. He always gets his hands on footballs too. Again, combo man-to-man -man coverage, down in distance, really good football play by Rashawn Galden, causing the incompletion. You're watching The Butch Jones Show. We'll be right back. The Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by CPI Security, proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. By Humana, over 50 years of experience in the healthcare industry. Humana, your partner in health. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. And by the Tennessee Education Lottery. Proud to have raised over $4 billion to support education programs in Tennessee. At the University of Tennessee, we've been playing football now for 121 years, but there's another team in town that has more experience and more tradition than the Tennessee Vols, and that's First Tennessee. Over 150 years of banking strong in the great state of Tennessee. For myself personally, there was no other bank than First Tennessee to align my family with. Over two decades of being the Vols banking partner, there was no comparison. There's only one official bank of the Vols, First Tennessee. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers, so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Ford F-150, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. See your local Ford dealer for great offers today. At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of, of course. course. <laughs> have questions? Visit fbhealthplans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. <laughs> From hard work, humble beginnings, and the red clay of Tennessee, greatness is built brick by brick. This is Coach Philip Fulmer. General Shell and I are proud supporters of Tennessee football. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Time now for the first Tennessee first look. A scouting report and look ahead at the Vols' upcoming opponents. Brought to you by First Tennessee, the official bank of the Vols. Next week, Tennessee jumps right back into SEC play as they host the Georgia Bulldogs at Neyland Stadium. Georgia, of course, led by the outstanding running game with Nick Chubb. Kirby Smart's in his second year as the Georgia head coach. Tennessee leads this all-time series, which has been close down through the years. 23 wins to 21 wins for Georgia. Two games have ended in ties in Knoxville. Tennessee is 12-10-1 against the Bulldogs. Last year, of course, Tennessee won in Athens 34-31 on the Hail Mary to Jawan Jennings. And Tennessee has won two straight in the series. But they've all been close. In fact, in the last six games, they've been decided by eight or fewer points. And of course, Georgia has a big time signature win this year as they won at Notre Dame by a score of 20 to 19. So Tennessee comes into the game three and one overall. It's a 3:30 kickoff next Saturday at Neyland Stadium. Vault Network coverage starts at 2 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Central Time. Hope to see you next week at Neyland Stadium for Tennessee and Georgia and right here next week also for the Butch Jones Show. This has been a presentation of the Vol Network produced by IMG the world's premier sports media and entertainment company.